Hi, I'm Casey Dooley, and I'm running for state representative in the 1st Norfolk District. I was raised in Quincy and graduated from North Quincy High School in 2000. Many of you might recognize me from around town. Growing up in Quincy, I learned responsibility and the importance of community from an early age, being raised by a single mother. As a teenager, I trained and became a licensed hairstylist. At the age of 19, I was able to purchase my mother's home, which me and my partner are living in and will be raising our family there. These days, I'm a small business owner and a hairstylist by trade, with a specialization in cutting curly hair and teaching clients how to love their curls. In my off hours, I work as an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community in the greater Boston area. Having served as the chair of Black Pride and co-chair of accessibility for Boston Pride, I am currently a board member on the Trans Resistance March, which is held in Boston in June. As a queer woman of color who intends to raise a family in Quincy, I was prompted to run for local office when I learned that our state rep voted against gay marriage. The current representative is one of few remaining representatives in the state house who voted in favor of an amendment to the state constitution to ban gay marriage in 2004. I've also been an active volunteer for many years supporting foster families, including teaching new parents how to work with their children's hair. Through this volunteer work, I've seen the many frustrations of the current foster system in the Commonwealth up close. I realized I can do more to improve the foster system from Beacon Hill than I could ever do as a volunteer. Like many of you, I'm tired of the status quo, major decisions made behind closed doors by political leadership, lifelong community members pushed out of Quincy because they can't afford to live here, and zero accountability for those in power. I believe that the district the community, and the political participation should be for everyone, not just those with connections or who can afford it. Now I want to talk to you about some of the issues that motivated me in this race. First, children and families. The Department of Family and Child Services has long time failed to truly serve the children of the Commonwealth. I am passionate about providing parents and caretakers with the additional specialized resources to ensure the safety and well-being of Massachusetts' most vulnerable children. Climate justice. As a lifelong resident of Quincy, I am deeply conscious of the threat faced by climate change and sea level rise. As state representative, I will be a tireless advocate for climate policies that truly protect coastal towns like Quincy and restore Massachusetts to our global leadership as a beacon of progress. Equality. As a queer black woman and a member of the first generation to grow up with marriage equality, I am deeply committed to serving the needs of the LGBTQ plus community and ensuring that our rights never get rolled back. Education. I'm passionate about improving the education system and ensuring that our kids get an adequate, adequate education that includes financial education and life skills. Transparency. Quincy residents have suffered too long at the hands of government officials who make decisions behind closed doors without the input of the community. As state rep, I am committed to government transparency and initiating a process that fully engages all citizens in governance at the state and local level. This is a historic primary, the first challenge to this seat since 2004 for a historic candidacy. I am the first woman, the first person of color, and the first openly queer person to seek to represent Quincy and Randolph since the creation of this seat. 
I hope that you'll join me in my mission to bring new leadership and fresh ideas to the first Norfolk by supporting me in the primary election on September 6th.